The following contest is a six-man tornado tag team match. And at a combined weight of 513 pounds, the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus and Clown, Dio Case, Natoli, the Bar. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. Warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Warrior prepared for battle. His first time in WWE, in his words, was a failure. Yeah, but Drew McIntyre left WWE, he proved himself, and then returned to become a champion and a main event level talent here in oh! WWE. The look of confidence on the face of Drew McIntyre says it all. He's about to do what he loves to do most, and that's get in a fight. combined weight of 702 pounds. The International Wrestling Grand Prix Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods, The New Day. A group set on dominance here in WWE. Every brand, every division, they planned on standing atop each one. Two groups facing off tornado tag rules. That means everyone is in the ring at the same time. It's gonna be Bedlam. Sweet, beautiful Bedlam. Punishing their opponent. Falling blow to the chest. Uh-oh, this is not gonna look pretty. Submission being applied. Will it be? Submission locked in tight. No. Way to go. No, it's... 
Escape and a takedown. Stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Caught with a neck breaker. Set him up. Crush it. Leg sweep. Now oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, neck breaker excellently executed. The Scottish warrior thinking big. Oh, Sometime. 
That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Right on point. Backbreaker. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Taking a look backstage, and oh my god, this is a developing situation. Oh, wow. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Gut buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. Oh man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Oh, fiery lariat. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Ah, snapmare takedown and a oh, right to the spine. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Super kick! He was waiting for him to make his move. There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. A uh, flat-out power into the scoop slam. That didn't go as Solo pictured. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Ooh. Oh, vicious body shot. Start counting, Saxton. One, two... Three, we could one, be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. All night long. How 
strong! What a press! Oh, man, check out this power! Gorilla press slam! Spine buster! Taunting his opponent with that metal shovel. Oh! Sokoa prevents that from connecting. Counters with an elbow right into the face. Up and down. What a gourd buster. Good night. Good grief. A uh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. Oh, the bear hug, and a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Boom! Oh! Oh! Able to elude it. Headbutt right to the shoulder. That's using your noggin. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. Oh! Oh, man. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. He just barely dodges. Cinching in the hurt lock. Lashley with the hurt lock. The Almighty wants the submission. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Sokoa spinning solo. Samoan drop. Oh. Winding up. Samoan spike. An unusual moment for the solemn Solo Sokoa. He, he must be pumped. Man. Super kick. Good night. Turned that one around. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Bobby Lashley. With all the power in the world, what a cutter. And his core has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Cinching in the hurt lock. The hurt lock locked in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. He's giving up, but you can tell his opposition doesn't care one bit. He's turning the tables. Look at this. Snap suplex. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. A counter answered by another counter. 
Oh, what a right hook. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Oh, look at the knees. Precision strikes. Ooh. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Lashley out of the way. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Close line. Right to the gut. And I just think the constant attacks to the core have caught up to him. The body has just been gradually falling apart to this point. Please, stay down. Looks like you get your wish, Saxton. This brawl is over. Table match underway. It's going to take setting up a table and putting your opponent through it to win. It's the combatant who has the most sadistic mind, who often prevails in these matches. The superstar with the creativity to find the inventive way to use the table. in a match like this that is so singularly focused on a specific end result. Well, there's no secret in this one. Every bit of offense is done with the goal of putting your opponent through a table. Create as much chaos as possible to put your opponent on the defensive. Well, it's all about the chaos. A competitor could be so focused on defending against a mounting offense that they become distracted from the threat of going through a table. Oh, I know. From the top. You got to be He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Fends off the attack with an elbow. He's back into the ring. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Tag with a punch. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Oh, he retaliates. Getting trapped. I'm sure what they're thinking. Paolo's position to be in right now. One way to seize control of a match, change the location to the ringside area. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And that maneuver really looks to have rocked AJ. So far, this tables match has been just as brutal as we anticipated. Oh, drop right on their face. Great counter. Neck is trapped. Suplex. Back straight into the post on the outside. Hits the drop kick. And he'll leave the ring for this next scratch. Just reeling from that offense. 
I think we're about to see a body go through a table real soon. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Oof. Great response to AJ there. Uh oh. What a hurt. Jason Point, nothing good happening right now. Now, how do these competitors 
Rollins showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. Facing off at the top of the ramp. Strong head scissors application. And now the elbows. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. Stepping right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. Vicious. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head on the stage. As we can already see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Boom! This arena can't contain them, and if history is any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. He's focused on breaking down his opponent's core right now, taking away the center of all movement. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He skirts around it. Hurts. Bam! Suplex canceled that move. 
Locks in the gut wrench. What's he in for here? Counters. This could be an opportunity. Power slam. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. And he has to start protecting himself. But... This might win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. Way to power the Boston Crab. Good knee drop. Facing off on the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Taken down with the fourth buster. AJ on the receiving end. Oh, driving the elbow. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this, is, this is amazing. And I think we all know nothing good fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening like that. And a well-executed move we just saw there. opportunity to attack your opponent. I've ever seen. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.
The following champion versus champion contest is a steel cage match and is for the Extreme Hardcore Championship. Well, here comes LA Knight, a man who brings the excitement level to the max. day would come when the entire WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. Well, I don't think anybody's going to argue the point that LA Knight is one of the most arrogant competitors in NXT history. I would agree with you, Saxton, but LA Knight has earned that arrogance with big over top talent. Well, now LA Knight is set to dominate all of WWE. Make way for the double champ. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Introducing the challenger. From Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Nice! And his opponent, from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 340 pounds, he is the Extreme Hardcore Champion, Keith Lee. This is a highly coveted title up for grabs. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, and still extreme hardcore champion, Keith Lee. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. <laughs>